Well, hi there. Happy holidays. It's December. This is the Universal Yums Box for December. I think we should just get right into it. These got... This is a special one. You can tell it because it's red and white. And it matches the peppermint gun. I don't think it's very peppermint, though. But since it matches the peppermint gun, we know we're on theme. It's festive and impressive. We're going to use a sneak attack to get a little extra damage because that box did not see this coming. Here we are on Yakatomi Towers. A holiday parade of flavors? We'll see. Seems like a promise that maybe they won't be able... Why am I so aggressive? This is a time for love and peace and sharing all the world. But sometimes you need a gun. Peppermint gun. That's maybe why this is... I'm so aggressive. By the way, as always, the owl, the snack owl is with me. Dressed up in her Christmas finery. Oh, Tannenbaum. How I do love the branches. Anyway, holiday parade of flavors from all over the world. Uh, you know what? This is going to be a journey. A, a journey of, of winter time. Season's greetings from everywhere. I think they missed a, 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 a trick by not saying season's eatings. I think that would be a funny joke. Hey, look, it's a picture of the Home Alone kid screaming. Why is that in there? I don't know. They're telling me to watch it, though. Trivia train. I need a number one through eight. I always pick and I never know. Uh, seven. What do families in Sweden do every Christmas at 3 p.m.? Do they, A, take a nap. B, eat a sprig of the Christmas tree. C, watch Donald Duck. Or D, have a cup of tea. So, I'm gonna guess those Swedes love their ducks. They love the Scrooges, the Hueys, the Deweys, and the Louies, and the Don Isles. Um, Goofy's not there to be the mage, but Donnell is there to be the mage, because Goofy was the paladin. I forgot, because those games are stupid. Anyway, you gotta listen to the heart of the cards, and it was Donald Duck. Better watch out, he'll inarticulately, inarticulately yell at you, his sin is wrath. But the Swedes embrace it. They embrace wrath, as we've always known. This book is full of tricks and treats. And as always, we're going to cherish it and have a lot of really good, interesting questions. And we're going to throw it over there. I tasted the world this year. I did. It was a journey. A montage of different areas. There was the January box and the February box and the July box. That really, that one that we really remember watching. That was, that was the best one, I think. The July can't wait to watch that one again. Just click on it where you watch your YouTube videos and you'll just watch the July box right, right then and there. Uh, I tasted the world this year. Let's see what we got. I'm, this is a, a grin of merriment. That's what this is. We've got Brett's Savor Brebis Cerise Noir. I know what Cerise means. It means cherries. Because I used to drink a beer that was called that, and then they took it away. It's fine. They're allowed to. So let's see what we got. I think this is going to be cheese and cherry chips. Ha ha! So I taste the cheese. Do I taste the cherry? There's a tartness to it. So it isn't like subtle, it's, it's pretty strongly aged cheese. It's flavorful. The cherry, if it's there, and I believe it is based on advertisements, I think, it's, I think it, it adds a tartness. 
but they're not like strongly like super duper hi ho cherryo. I win because I got all the cherries from the cherry tree. They're not incredibly cher cher cherific. But I bet they're in there. There is a, like a, a cheese board fruit jam element, I believe. What have we got? We got pan tosto. You know, I kind of probably need the box so we can tell where each one of these comes in the world because you're all from different areas. I, I feel like we really do need a guy. Pan tosto. But we're not going to have one. We're just going to be like, these are all from all over the world. Because should I go back and admit that, you know, I have a resource right there and use it? Yeah, probably. That's a sign of, of wisdom and responsibility and, and maturity. And I have all those things. I'm just not going to do it right now. So this is a bruschetta. And it's a good one. It would be good on a cheese cracker board. Do I need to eat a bag of bruschettas? Like little crunchy garlic breads? No. Not, not like just to sit down and watch The Simpsons or something like that. You don't really need to eat a whole bag of bruschettas unless there's like an event involved, I feel. I taste a uh, oiliness. I bet it is olive oil. It's coated in my mouth. It's not bad. It's tasty. But, uh, it is, uh, oily, I would say. And I don't have a doily to, to brush it off. That's okay. Oil, oil is fine. Oh, oil and, and, and wine. Popcorn. Bing, bang, boom. It's got a picture of a duck. It says it's salted egg yolk flavor. I think that's there to... Freak people out and make them think, "Wow, well, no, I don't want eggs and and egg yolk and popcorn." Oh, that's strong. I really like these. There is a saltiness and a umami ness. There's probably this egg yolk. I was expecting that to be subtle, and it actually isn't. It's it's sweet and savory. Very salty. I like this. Mouth watering. We got Chevre Piment de Espelette. I wish I had the power of all the languages, like Doug Ramsey. But he's he's probably not dead anymore, is he? Rest in peace, Doug Ramsey. Wherever you may be translating, you're probably the worst mutant there was. As far as being on a team of fighting mutants, being on just like a scholarship or living your life with that power would be amazing, but you were militarized and turned into a child army, so sorry, Doug Ramsey. Sucks to be you. But you're friends with Warlock, so that's cool. Anyway, I do digress. Cheese and little chilies. Again, a spicy, nice chip. And honestly, Rex, you're doing all right. If this chip was like in my chip aisle, I'd probably order this one. Order. I'd buy it, consume. I would. I would. Uh, I would pick this one up a lot. If I saw it on a gas station on a road trip, I'd be like, you know what I need? A little picante cheese spice chips. Not bad. Probably be good with like a. Some sort of nice dip. I don't know what kind. Probably sour cream and onion. That's what I would say. We're, we're moving on in the world. We got truffle popcorn. Interesting and fun. Oh, I think I accidentally pierced the uh, invisible boundary between savory and sweet that they stack things in because... I thought this was a truffle popcorn, but it's a popcorn flavored chocolate truffle? Yeah. That's confusing. There's probably a little butter in that and corn. 
Hard to tell. It's good though. I like that. But you know, I, I broke the whole thing because we weren't ready for the, the the sweetness yet. I'm gonna have to try to erase it with this red and green mysterious mystery drink. Some people might say this is too salty or too bitter or too gross, but I don't. I love this drink. I think it's a great drink. Tent crisps. Oh boy. That would be roast beef and Spitfire Ale. And there's a picture of an aeroplane on it. I feel like they are exaggerating their Britishness on this. And that's okay. Because they make a bag that can be easily opened. And that's all right by me. If I ever go on holiday to this wonderful country, I would look for Kent Crisp. Well, you know what? I shouldn't say that. Let's try one first. Sitting in a fire, in front of a fire, not in it. That would be bad. Sit in front of a fire, kick your legs up, wear a sweater, eat some roast beef, drink some Spitfire Ale. You could do that, or you could eat one of these chips. That's what they would probably say in one of their commercials. I don't know if they're exactly equivalent, but these are good chips. I like the little beefy taste. Tastes like iron. Is there a beer to it? Beer taste? Probably. I bet there is. I'm going to try one more. So anyway, if I ever went to England, I'd probably seek these out. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very good. Well, they're pretty good. You had one kettle extra crispy chip with some beef flavors. You, you probably had them all, but if you see it, don't go out of your way to avoid it. It's not bad. Oh, tis the season. What, what do we got next? We have a whole cake. What? Well, you know what? They did. There's too many savory and too many sweet. I don't know what to eat. So this was had the height advantage. How will we eat this cake? It's lovely. It's uh interesting. We're just gonna cut a little shunt out of it. Oh, it had a filling inside. A little oopy goopy. What kind of cake is this? Is this a spice cake? They say it is a Pandoro cocoa cake with cappuccino cream. Antica pastoracea. I bet this is Italian because it has a little baby Italian flag on the bottom. And I bet that's a very good cake. A cocoa cake. Good cake with coffee, I bet, because it tastes like it. That's a treat. I could see having a, a winter dinner and then eating a cake as a snack. I would enjoy that. Popcorn again, because no rhyme or reason, tis the season. The heavy footfalls of neighbors. The Stompsons have arrived. And they're walking. They're, just, they're making everybody know that they're here. They're stomping it up and stomping it down. Oh, they must work the night shift. Those Stompsons and their ways. I'm not mad. That's what happens when you live in an apartment. You hear babies crying every darn minute, and you hear the Stompsons at night. It's a great melange of city music. Watch that. You gotta remember that there's people in the world. You can't, you can't make yourself an island. You gotta embrace the chaos. You never sleep and always hear this Thompson's just moving furniture. Apparently all the time, their feet are made of lead. Candy popcorn, like a caramel corn. Except it's a little pink and a little white, like a little Christmas. Well, or it could be Christmas, because I bet a lot of these. But you don't have to. You don't have to celebrate Christmas. You don't have to celebrate Hanukkah, and you can. You you don't have to celebrate Diwali, and you and you don't. There are a lot of Christmas and winter, and uh, 
just seasonal candle nights events all throughout and they're all beautiful and we're not picking anyone to be better than any other they're all really good forgot about kwanzaa that's a good one all right see now when you mention one then you have to mention as many as you can and if you forget one then they're gonna feel left out luckily i have like two viewers so i don't think i'm alienating anybody What do we got? Hoot and holler. <gasps> Guess what? Karen Wolf is back. You may remember from the continuity of last episode that Karen Wolf made good cookies. I looked her up. I think she died in like 1845. <laughs> but her name lives on. Maybe not 1845, maybe 1910. Maybe 1912, maybe she was on the Titanic. But anyway, your turn of the century-ish time. She's definitely dead, though. But, uh, Ginger Snap, Belgian style cookie with snile. Belgian style cookie with cinnamon. They were baked for sharing. We have to share. A wonderful Belgian style cookie, good for sharing. I think this, the neighbors may have settled down. I don't hear their heavy footfalls any longer. We had this wonderful bag of Kopernik Turun. Turunsky, Pernicki, Flisatsky. Us gingerbread cookie lemon flavor. See? I'm glad they said that, but if they didn't, I think we would have got there. It's that soft chewing gingerbread. You don't want to build necessarily a house or structure out of it. Well, you could. It's a little barren. I would do it. But you probably couldn't get like the big, thick shapes you need for a mausoleum or mansion. You can make a gingerbread log cabin out of these. And guess darn what? If it wouldn't be. That's the sentence. Uh, lemon flavored log cabin. Could you could do it? All the traditions are good, and you should make your own around this winter time as the solstice of the winter comes, and the darkness keeps climbing until it reaches its zenith. And Look at me being all wistful for this time of year. I wist, I wist, this plum cake with dulce de leche filling would be delicious. So I like this because it comes in a little wrapper. And, you know what I gotta say, I like this box a lot because you only get it once a year and there's a lot of cakes inside. It's like a very dense maybe cookie if or Twinkie except instead of cream there was dulce de leche caramel and that the cake was way better than a Twinkie uh sorry hostess you you know they're not good we know I'm still gonna buy you and eat you but you 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 know I both know you're not bringing your egg game and that's fine I don't blame you. Cocoa covered nougat with almond pistachios and cardamom. The most motherly of spices. Not like Chili Dad. The most fatherly of spices and also fictional. Now I like this because it came with your own build box. And then there's all these Treats and so this is a treasure box. I like that. You can keep your jewelry inside. Or knickknacks. We open it up. I bet the golden ticket. Hey, the chocolate tastes terrible. This one didn't have it. Oh, it they didn't have that. It just had this. Hmm. 
Good. It's a chewy nougat with pistachios in it and some cardamom. If it didn't tell me the cardamom wasn't there, would I put my finger on it? No, I would just say, oh, it's got some spices. But that's fine. Now we know. Knowing is more than half the battle. It's, it's uh, three-fourths the battle. This just says fudge. And then Christmas pudding flavor. And that's the description of the snack. That's not me saying, oh, it's the best holiday. That's just, it's the type of pudding. Which they call really just dessert or caramel or something sticky over there across the pond. Would I call this a pudge? Or would I call this just a toffee? Like an eaten caramel. Uh, yeah. Uh, if it's fudge, it's like just a nudge towards fudge. The line's kind of smudged. Uh oh. Anyway, we got that. It fell over. Turkish delight. I think we've had them before. Maybe not this brand. Tatsan. It's a very nice box. It's pretty. I know from experience that open these up, we're gonna have a confectioner sugar rain down on us like a plague. So we're gonna be careful. This one looks yellow underneath the confectioner sugar. I don't know what that means, if it's pineapple, if it's lemon, or if it gives electricity powers. Yeah, that's that, you know, sugar's a lot. Gummy, rose, water. I don't think this one flavored rose. I just associate them all with rose. It's a good Turkish delight. Rose, lemon, and orange. I guess we could have just read. We didn't have a rose, we had a lemon. No electricity power for us. You know, we have something called Prosecco flavored bonbons. I think they're like, you know what would be good at the holidays? Wine. But they can't give you that, so they just gotta give you a bomb bomb. But since I am so bon vivant in nature, this bomb bomb is trade beyond and on. It's fine. It's tart. Does it taste like wine? Yeah, it does. It's got it. Fermented fruit aftertaste. They don't like it when you just call wine what it is. The the wine the winologists. The vine the vineyard sense. Okay, so we have baklava again, but it is encased in a force field for my protection. And thus, will require dexterity. Huzzah. We've done it. The packaging has been opened in another wonderful little treasure box. Now, ooh, these are cute little baklavas. Look at them. I hope it's not hot. This is hot as lava. But I know what it's going to be. It's going to be phyllo dough. With nuts and honey. And a little bit of spice. And guess what? It is. And maybe my piece is a little... That's not dry. Mild. It doesn't hit you over the head with honey. But sometimes that's a, a good thing. Because sometimes you eat one and it's so soaked with honey. That's all you taste. So this lets you taste all the texture. And the file dough isn't dried out, so it's a good showing for Jopri. I think we're near the end. End of the line. The yum bag. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Precipitation across the nation. 
Oh wow, this one was full. What flavors? Textures and sounds. Oh, that's that breadstick. That's not what fell. It's all the way over there, but I think it has a twin over here, so I don't have to pick it up right away. But I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to do it. For completion's sake. It was treacle toffee. That's the one. It's in a wrapper, so it didn't touch the ground, really. We're good. Very similar to that fudge, which I guess is technically just treacle toffee. But that sounds tricky and mysterious and something that you would like step in as a trap. Oh no, I've stepped in treacle, is what they would say. It was good. Mouth watering as you chew it. I wonder, you know, I think it needs salt. Maybe I'm just a salty caramel fiend. But that's what I think it needs. I, I picked up something that said Glog Cola. Mold wine toffee. Ooh. Well, as I chew this, let me mull it over. Uh, I like that. I think it's supposed to be like those spicy winter drinks, your glogs, as you sometimes see them. Oh, uh, that's good. I like that one. I like that one just fine. What a good treat. And this is, they're, they're sticking more cocoa crusted toffees, uh, truffles and things, but that's okay. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, la la. It's kind of the same thing as before. Will it taste like popcorn? No. But it's good. Does this have Pop Rocks in it? I think it might. Because I hear bubbling in my mouth. If not, something's wrong with it. So, oh, it says fizzy. Yeah, there's there's pop rocks. There's one pop rocks in it. Those 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 scoundrels. Um. So, I think the box is complete. But guess what? We're not done yet. Because remember, the very beginning of the year, we talked about there were four pendants of power that were unlocked by finding. The different emblems by finding the right seasonal Reese's snacks. Now we got the true, the true shape of the season, the tree. Reese's trees, some of the best trees I've ever had. You know that's smooth. The seasonal ones are good. Because sometimes Reese's has been around a while. You might find one in a vending machine and you bite into it. Peanut butter is good as you expect, but kind of hard. But the seasonal ones were just made, so they're creamier than regular. And that's a good one. But we have a treat. This is an official shape, but it is my favorite one. The Reese's Bells. Ding dong, ding dong, bells are here. Ding dong, ding dong, hear those fears. Oh, you bite into it and look. So that, oh, the uh, child below us is screeching because they're awake and that's what they do. I uh, have 24 hours a day, basically. Um, Stompsons are stomping. Childs are screeching. It's a winter wonderland. Anyway, uh, the bells have a cream that is delightful and soft and sweeter, and I love it. It's not like the other Reese's creams. It's a dream. I might scream. So, 
we're at that juncture. We have the one, two, three, four. I don't know where the editor is going to put them. I covered all the bases. I pointed to one of them. <laughs> we're going to put them in their proper places. They're going to be glowing. And we're going to activate them. We got spring. We got summer. No, we don't. Because there's no holiday in the summer. But we do have three winters and a, and a fall, <laughs> basically. We have one for love and one for light in the dark. That's the tree. I'm not going in order. And we have, oh, you know what? We have two winters, a spring, and a fall. I should know. They're right in front of me. I should remember. I should also remember the four important candy sneezings. We'll say them one more time. Valentine's Day. Easter. Halloween. And Grinch, Mitch. We're going to lock them all together. They're going to be glowing. They're going to be a showing. And we're going to find that candy barcophagus. We're going to unlock it to find that gummy mummy or some sort of taffy toffee dynasty. We're going to unlock that. And as long as we didn't make any archaeological mishaps or mistakes, we're going to have a great time. We're just going to wait. There should be activated now. Something, something, something's wrong. We got shaking. We got a vortex behind me. Oh no! I might be sucked into it. It's terrible. Ah, I hope I will see you again. And remember to keep snacking. And if not, avenge me. Ah. Ah. Oh, the vortex of two. Why? Avenge me! I love you! Uh oh! I think I just broke the jacket. I think that's the way to go. And cut! <laughs> Commissioner, the snack commissioner, snack commissioner, snack commissioner. Oh, last time, last snack, snack and last. Wow, snacks, and snacks, you're the smash. Last snack commissioner, commissioner, the time. To eat the snacks and rhyme, commission snacks and snack com times. Don't get in snack crimes. Snack and crimes are bad. Eat the snacks. You're red. Commissioner is dead. I hope.